Galaxy AI on the Z Fold 7 is magic. Here is every new AI feature. Let's go. The Galaxy Z Fold 7 is a beast. It's got software features that you wouldn't even believe. And there's some new AI stuff that have been hidden and tucked in here that I'm about to show you. Let's start with the easy ones. With the Galaxy S25 Ultra, Samsung launched the Now Brief. And the Now Brief, at least at the start, a lot of people questioned its validity and what it offered you. Now, with the Fold 7 and One UI 8 in particular, you've got this new feature right at the top of the Now Brief called Read Highlights Aloud. It does literally as advertised. It's a little button that you press, and then immediately it'll start reading the Now Brief highlights to you straight away. Evening Brief. Here's what happened today. Severe weather alert. Strongly warning from SAT 12 p.m. AMist until Sun 12 p.m. AMist. It does have some comprehension issues, like it calls Australian Eastern Standard Time, like the acronym for it, as AIST. That's, that's not a word. But the fact is that it's actually quite convenient because you can just let the phone be sit, sitting there and then it'll read those to you with whatever you're doing. I like it. The Now Briefs also had an update to support some extra things. If you go into the content to include in the settings, you'll see parking spot reminders and some more relevant and contextual YouTube toggle that actually signs you into your account and plays you or shows you recommendations based on your subscriptions. Like I'm a huge fan of Sam Beckman, another Australian tech YouTuber, and his recommendation came up and I could click on the video and go straight into it. Love that. Next one is Instant Audio Eraser. I've spoken about this a few times already, but I feel like it deserves a bit more of a time to shine, especially in a video like this. Audio Eraser is a great feature. Again, I've shown it off before, where it'll actually go in and clean up any background audio that you've got. Instant Audio Eraser works in more areas. So you've got the gallery, you've got Samsung Notes, and you've got Voice Recorder. And there's phone call recordings too, but I haven't got any of those to show. In the gallery, if you're just sort of scrolling through a bunch of videos and you want to show people those videos, and then you want to play the audio as well, rather than having to go and erase every single clip before you show it to someone, you could just press the instant audio eraser button and it'll work to clean up that background audio to play that audio nice and smooth. It's fantastic because it doesn't matter which video clip it is, as long as you've hit that audio button, that instant audio eraser button will appear and then it'll work to clean up that audio. But I like how it's expanded now. It also works inside Samsung Notes. So if you've recorded a note, this is testing the voice note with Samsung Notes and the instant audio eraser feature. And then you want to play that note back. Again, hit that instant audio eraser button and it'll remove that background noise. This is testing the voice note with Samsung Notes and... And the most obvious place is the voice recorder. So this is an example of the voice recorder uh, and me talking into the voice recorder. And then I've got some wind noises playing and there's some other sort of background noise and hopefully the instant audio eraser deals with it all. So this is an example of the voice recorder uh, and me talking into the voice recorder. And then I've got some wind noises playing and there's some other sort of background noise and hopefully the instant audio eraser deals with it all. You know, imagine you're in a meeting and you're all talking and there's lots of noise going on, press the instant audio eraser button when you're playing it back and sort of removes all of it. Something that sort of ties into that is the floating AI window. So this is a fold one because it takes advantage of the big inner display. You can actually make the AI results sort of move around. So let's say you're browsing a website and you want to summarize that website. What you can do is when that summary appears, you can long press on the little bar option and then drag it out into a pop-up. And you can move it around the screen, you can resize it, or you can even press the toggle and sort of pitch it to one side of the display or dock it back down the bottom. You can press the toggle rather than long pressing it and hit the pop-up option and it'll go straight out. But I think it's funner to long press and drag it out yourself, don't you? It doesn't just work in Samsung Internet. Samsung Notes, for example, also offers those sort of summary and AI features. If you've got a note that you need to summarize, again, summarize it and then pop that out into a little pop-up or again put it into like a side-by-side multi-window environment and sort of occupy the screen real estate a little bit better and i showed a voice recorder before 
if you summarize a voice recording, again, same thing. Pop that out and away you go. Sometimes it isn't always easy though to pull out your phone and take a note or to record something. That is where today's sponsor, the Mobvoi Tick Note, can help you out. The Mobvoi Tick Note is a credit card sized voice recorder that when paired with your phone is supercharged by AI. It's razor thin. You look at it next to my S25 Edge and it is so much thinner. Literally looks like a credit card. In the box, you get a charger and a handy MagSafe wallet carrier. So you can actually pin it to the back of your MagSafe compatible phone or case like I've got here with the Thinborn one on my S25 Edge. The device itself has a 470 milliamp hour battery, 64 gigabytes of storage, which equates to about 434 hours of recording time. And it's got a tiny OLED display inside a package that's only 29 grams in weight. Pairing it through the TickNote app, you unlock a host of awesome productivity features. It's so easy to record with. You can actually start recording on the device itself just by holding down the power button for a couple of seconds and then a couple of seconds to stop it as well. Or you can start recording through the app itself. And with the app connected, it will automatically transfer the files. And you can set up a Wi-Fi direct connection for larger files to make it go even faster. And with the files there, you can get organizing. Well, actually, it can organize it for you. The app will summarize, transcribe, and create a mind map of your recordings. Amongst other functions, the app has something called Shadow. Shadow is a built-in AI productivity agent that turns all your thoughts, meetings, and recordings into actionable plans which guide your creativity and ultimately boost your efficiency. Shadow is also conversational, so you can ask it questions and get responses. It's also cross-platform, so you can log in to TickNote on a web browser and access Shadow and sync all of your conversations across multiple different platforms and devices. The app is honestly so comprehensive. Easiest thing for you to know is whenever you have a thought, just hit record and the app will organize and take care of the rest. If you want to capture your thoughts and boost your productivity, grab yourself a Mobvoi tick note today using the link in the description. And thank you to Mobvoi for sponsoring this video. Thank you, Mobvoi. Next, we get into some of the fun, creative side of Galaxy AI. This one I really love. Photo Assist. And it's not just the Photo Assist in the way it works, even though it's amazing. Like I did a few different ones here and the way it's able to just remove things from the photo and have it look like it was never there and then regenerate things. Like there was a one of stuff on the table with my kids having breakfast and it regenerated both my kids' hands. Crazy how well it was able to do that. Just phenomenal. What I really like with the Fold 7 is when you want to compare the sort of original version to the new one. If you hit show original, it'll split the screen off into two different sides and it'll show you both next to each other. And what's even better is if you pinch to zoom on one of the photos, both of them go into that same spot and you can kind of investigate how good it actually did. And again, with the photo of the kids, it did a phenomenal job at removing things and then regenerating stuff. It's unbelievable. You've then got some updated drawing assist functions. So if you go into Drawing Assist, previously it was just a couple of different options that it would turn your photo or your drawing into. Now there's like a See All button where you can actually go in and see everything else that Samsung have enabled. I like a lot of the options in here. There's like a Webtoon one where you can actually turn something into like a cool looking Webtoon. You could see some of the ones I'm sort of putting up on the screen now. It's just really fun to be able to draw something, RPS Pen, and turn that into one of the categories that are there. The whole function of it's not new, it just now gives you extra options that you can turn things into. What I did find that was new though, is when I hit the toggle at the top, it did actually have a history. I don't know if that was there before, shows how much I use it, but it actually showed me all the stuff that I'd made previously. So if I needed to go back and sort of download them again, I can do that. And there's also Portrait Studio, but for pets. Portrait Studio is quite fun. You can take a photo of a person and turn it into like a, a generated image of like a sketch or a cartoon. Really love this one I just did on my daughter where it turned her into a nice pencil sketch. Looks phenomenal. Definitely saved it. But they've now added in Pet Portrait Studio. And they haven't just added it in with the existing ones that were there. They've given you some new options. I took one of my pet Amber. She passed away about four years ago. What's great with what this has done is I could take a photo of her and turn it into something new. So there was the option to turn it into like a portrait or like a cartoon, but I really like the fisheye one. This actually 
made me a little bit emotional because it sort of brought her to life again. Seeing her in that sort of fisheye state, sort of right up to the camera, and it looked like a perfect recreation of her. And I really loved that. And I actually went back to make sure I saved it. And there was also like a proper portrait one too. And again, I really saved that too. The powerful features, honestly, almost made me cry. Then you've got suggested replies. This was in beta in One UI 7. I've, it's now exited the beta stage. You can go into Galaxy AI and into chat suggestions or the chat one, whatever the chat one was, and you'll see it in there, suggested replies. Sort of shows you what it is. It can work on the phone and it also can work on the watch as well. Basically, it reads the context of the messages or the previous replies and formulates some responses for you. Haven't found it to work consistently. Sometimes it'll pop up generating replies. Great. Then you can pick. They're not always the most accurate though, but at least it was there. And other times you click on a message chat and nothing happens. I can't figure out why it doesn't work sometimes and then sometimes it does. On the watch, it seems to work all the time. If you have a message that you need to respond to, it will sort of show you that it's generating replies and then you can choose one and send it off. Hopefully it improves its efficacy over time but it's there as a feature and it'll hopefully generate as things go on and sort of learn your sort of text and writing behavior. So that is Galaxy AI and some of the new hidden sort of features to unlock this form factor with AI. Amazing, some of the stuff it can do, especially the photo generation stuff, it's wild. Hit subscribe to Tech With Benefits if you want to learn more about your Samsung. This is the place where you should want to do it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Yep. That didn't work.